Oh god, smoke, a lot of smoke, a lot of smoke, oh sh Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be doing some DIY for the first time ever on this channel. And we are going to be doing the DIY, I think it's called popcorn maker, popcorn machine, something like that. And basically, it's where you take two cans and you cut them in a certain way and they fit on top of each other and you put a candle underneath one and it heats it up and then you put the popcorn seeds in and And that's basically what happens, so let's get into it. I've got another angle here where you can see my nice hands, my nice pink shorts, and you can see the snow outside actually. Yeah, that's all the snow we got this year. Yeah, what you're gonna need for this video is two of the same type of cans. Two of the same type of cans. The same type of cans. I only had these two cans, San Pellegrino, Lemonata, and Guinness because Ireland. I'm watching a YouTube video, by the way, on how to do this. Next of all, you'll need something to cut with. I've got this knife that looks a bit dangerous. And if that one doesn't work, I've got this regular kitchen knife. Also, you'll need something else like a scissors, some candles. I'm cutting this one. <laughs> candles. This one's huge. I'm not sure if it'll fit, but if it does fit, that is gonna be bad ass. In the video they used a black marker. I've only got this whiteboard marker which is definitely just gonna get rubbed off straight away. Some matches or lighter or whatever to light the candles. And you know what, in the video they don't use gloves but I feel like gloves are gonna be a nice wee shout. I don't think these gloves will do much to protect me but they look cool. <coughs> feel like a dentist. Ow! Ow! I'm not gonna do the same thing with this one. Step one. You've got to clean the can, which I've already done. The next step is gonna be drawing on the can to get the, the lines where you cut. I'm not sure how well this marker is gonna go on the Guinness can, but we'll see. Balls. Yep. Success. Okay, he kind of connects the two lines we just drew, but not fully connecting them. Connecting them. He leaves a little gap halfway. Easy peasy. Oh, now we get the nigh. And he just cuts out the whole thing. So, let's see how well this goes. Oh, sh Nobody saw that. Let's just continue on. <laughs> Hey, there we go. Oh wait, hold on. Last bit, last bit, last bit. And now, we just tilt that up like that. And that's it. So for this next bit, he just drew a line around the top, like divided it into like two thirds, and then cut off the top. So, like, there I'd say. Here, I'm really bad at drawing these lines. Hold on. That is the worst line I've ever seen. And now I just have to cut that off. Bingo, bango. I don't think I can mess this one up as badly as the last bit. Ah, oh, I nearly stabbed myself. Get off. Yay. Okay, I got it. Back at it again with the red marker. 
he turns it upside down and he like divides it into four and draws a line. So a line here, a line there, and then turn around a line there, a line there. And then he leaves a gap of like one finger and he draws a line all the way up. Hey, that was pretty straight. And then he connects two of them around the bottom. Like so, and he does the same with the opposite side, connects those two. And he cuts out those little squares. So I'm gonna cut out these squares and then get back to you. So now that that's done, I'm going to check out the next step. I just realized this guy uses a hammer to hammer down that, that bump there, but I don't have a hammer. So I'm going to have to go outside and get a hammer. I got a little baba hammer. Well that's the exact opposite. The hole's coming out, the bump is the other side and it just kind of spins around now which could be a spinning popcorn maker. Let's try that. Next step, he draws a line, another finger width down from the top of each of these squares. And then he uses the scissors to make little cuts along it. And then he just bends them over. There we go. She looks beautiful. Meow. Oh, whoa, we're almost finished. I didn't know it was that quick. Now we put the candle in here. And let's see if the big one fits. It fits. Oh my god, this is gonna be brilliant. So you gotta lift up the wick, place her down. Okay, I don't think this spinning one's gonna work anymore. Let me fix it. I think it should stay by itself now. Yep, and now, hold on, I need to get popcorn. Ah! So I just cut open one of these microwave bags, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna use some of these boyos. Okay, this is the final step. You light the candle with these extra long safety matches. Fire, ooh, fire, fire, fire. And then we put this awesome Guinness thing. Remember this yolk, yeah? Yeah, this thing, we put it on top. No, it's gonna sit in the candle. We did something wrong. Well, maybe it's too heavy. It's just gonna add a stuck to my glove. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be right back and I'll try and figure out a solution to this. Hey, I'm back. I found my solution and the answer is sellotape. There we go. Hopefully the cell tape doesn't melt. You take some of these bits out of your hand. Okay, they're all stuck together because I think it is uh, butter, popcorn or something. I shoved them in there somehow. Okay, I dropped them. And now to try and light it, luckily I've got the extra long safety matches so I can get right in there. And that is my dog. 
barking at the postman. <laughs> Lexi! It's the postman! And now we wait for this to be done. It's uh, making noises, I just changed the camera battery. <laughs> Lexi! Shut up! It's making a lot of noise. I'm not sure if you can hear that. And it spins! It actually spins! Spinning popcorn maker. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, please. Oh, I think it's the butter that's melting and bubbling. I'm gonna wait here until it pops, and then I'll let you guys know. Hey, little fellas. How's it going? How's it going, mate? Six and a half hours later. Okay guys, I have literally been sitting here for like 10 minutes and nothing has happened. So, I can't be honest, wait any longer. So it's time to bring out the big guns. Boom. Whoa. So I'm gonna use a blowtorch to hopefully get this into working somehow. I'm not sure where I should, oh yeah. I spilt this some wax, as you can see there. I'm not sure what angle I should go at to get this to pop. Should I just go straight in at it? I'm gonna go straight in at it. I'm gonna break the top of it. Oh my God, I just spilled so much more wax. Balls to the wall. This is not going well, at all. Can you see inside? Let me see in this angle. Let me zoom in. Okay, so I'm gonna see what happens, and hopefully it works. And hopefully it works. Um, I think I went too close there. Yeah! Oh god, smoke, a lot of smoke, a lot of smoke, oh sh**. I got it outside as quick as I could. And hopefully it works. Okay, that was an absolute fail. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, if you did enjoy it, leave a like. Comment if you want me to do more of these DIY videos and subscribe if you'd like to see a new video like this every Monday. Bye.